Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are all aware, last month Rockstar Games started to release some police content into the game for the first time in 10 years. Of course, on the launch day of the Chop Shop DLC, we received three police vehicles being the Stania Le Cruiser, the Unmarked Cruiser and the Police Riot Van. And just last week, Rockstar Games released the Park Ranger vehicle, which of course can be converted into the FIB undercover police car now thanks to data miners we do know we're going to be receiving another police car of course which i've spoken about already being the gauntlet interceptor which will be getting released alongside a brand new police mini heist now thanks to data miners we have more details on this police heist which we're going to be taking a closer look at in today's video we're also going to be taking a look at some new outfits weapons plus much more so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so as i'm sure a lot of you guys are aware that have seen my previous videos we will be receiving a police mini heist in the coming weeks and months that will also introduce a new police vehicle known as the gauntlet interceptor now in my previous video speaking about this mini heist i showcased all of the cutscenes from this mini heist so you guys can get a better idea of what to expect and it is going to be known as the clock and bell raid now we do know thanks to the game files that we will be receiving some new clothing types in the form of body armor and utility vests now interestingly rockstar games have already introduced one of these new utility vest styles with one of the outfits that we could unlock by completing in one of the robberies in the salvage yard and like i said probably recognized from the coast guard outfit now we do know that the cluck and bell raid will consist of three different missions which you guys will have to take down three different gangs in and these three different gangs will range in difficulty and that will also determine the effectiveness of the gear that you guys are given during these missions now the three gangs that we will be taking on in these missions will be known as the marabunte grande we're going to be taking on the professionals and the military now we do know the marabunte grande is going to be the bottom tier the professionals are going to be mid tier and the military are going to be top tier now thanks to these game files we also know about the weapon loadouts we're going to be given for each individual mission so for the very first one the marabunte grande loadout we're going to receive the compact rifle the combat pistol the mini smg the crowbar and molotovs for the professional weapon layout we're going to be receiving the heavy rifle the tactical smg the heavy shotgun and the pipe bombs and finally for the most difficult mission the military weapon loadout we're going to be receiving the mg the ap pistol the combat shotgun and the grenades now like i mentioned we also know we're going to be receiving some unique armor in the form of a new clothing item for these missions so for the marabunte grande mission as you guys can see on screen we're going to be receiving this blue body armor vest which reads straps on the back and also has the gang logo reading m7 now the marabunte grande armor is defined as light armor with low stamina reduction and that is also clear to see with just the look of the actual armor vest especially when i show you guys the vest we're going to be receiving for the professional and the military missions and of course for the armor we're going to be receiving for the professional mission that is described as medium armor with medium stamina reduction and as you guys can see on screen has an all black stealth look to it with a lot of like padding in the middle so a very slick look for body armor i'm not gonna lie and finally the military armor is the high grade armor with high damage resistance but also comes with a large stamina reduction very similar to the casino heist where you guys are going to be limited so you won't be able to sprint and it will feel a little more cloggy moving around however you will be able to withhold a lot of bullets while wearing the this vest so I do expect this military mission to be quite hard and as you guys can see by the look of this armor just looks way more padded and way more military style with this slight digital camo all over it 
Now unfortunately, these vests will be locked to only wearing them when you guys are playing the missions. However, if you guys would like to see me try and find a glitch on how to glitch them into free roam as soon as Rockstar Games add them into the game, then do be sure to drop a like under this video. And if this video does reach over a thousand likes, I'll grab a bunch of the guys I record glitches with and we'll do everything to try and find a method. Now, as far as the getaway vehicles that we're going to be using in these missions, it looks like we are going to have different options with each mission because we also see in the game files, as you guys can see, one does read this vehicle was stolen from the Marabunte Grande at location A. We also have another bit of text which reads this vehicle was stolen from the professionals at location B. And another one reading, this vehicle was stolen from the military group at location C. So we're probably going to be given different locations every time we launch these missions. As we do know, we will be able to repeat these missions. And we are also going to be getting a unique cutscene or voice line from Vincent, who actually goes ahead and gives us this mission. As we do know during one of the cutscenes, he does say something along the lines of, you can't believe you're hitting the same gang twice. And then he does also mention at the end of the cutscene that you can go ahead and raid the clock and bell whenever you guys like. So I am assuming each time we do load up these missions, sometimes we might be given a vehicle at location A, location B, or location C. Now, we also know during the clock and bell raid, during the setup missions, depending how you guys play these missions and how well you do, will impact the final mini heist mission or the finale. For one example, we do know you will have to get a disguise and infiltrate a certain business. So if you guys are spotted during this mission, but still decide to go ahead and complete the mission, then guards will be on high alert, like I said, during the finale mission. And we also know another example of this with the clock and bell raid where if you guys are spotted by the cctv cameras you will have to erase the footage or else that will also make the guards on high alert when you guys go ahead and do the finale i do believe rockstar games have only done this a couple times where how you guys play the setup missions will actually go ahead and impact the finale and it does give it a more realistic and better feel to the game knowing that there could be two different scenarios that could play out every time you guys play this mission and of course we also know upon completing this mini heist we will unlock the trade price for the brand new gauntlet interceptor which will be dropping down from 5.4 million dollars to just over 4 million dollars so you will be saving just over 1.4 million dollars by completing this little mini heist and like i said it looks like it's going to be quite fun to play as rockstar games haven't really implemented game mechanics where the setups really do affect the final mission the only time i can really think of that at the top of my head is from story mode and if you guys would like to keep up to date with all of the latest leaks and news before I make my videos, then do be sure to go ahead and join my Discord server, which will be linked as a pinned comment underneath this video. We've also got tons of active players, so whether you guys want to trade cars, find players to make money with, or just show off some of your outfits and paint jobs, you're more than welcome to go ahead and join us. So I'll leave a link to the Discord down low as a pinned comment, and I'll also leave a link to some other videos down low in the comment section to do based around the cops and crooks content including how you guys can spawn the police bike in how you guys can get the police outfit plus all of the customizations for the unreleased gauntlet interceptor which like i said will be getting released along with the mini heist however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.